I sung this role, so I know what you just went through. Oh, my Lord, we call these machine gun melismas. So they just don't stop. Um, I, I have to tell you, I'm very, very impressed with your ability to sing these melismas so cleanly and with such great shape and such great line. Um, uh, what I'm going to actually say, I have one little diction thing I want you to, to fix if you can. Um, and I know as a, as a Spanish speaker, I know where this is coming from. You sang for me vente, and in Italian it's vente, venti. I mean, vente. It has a v sound, not a b sound. It's it's a common mistake. It happens to anybody who speaks Spanish. So yes. just know that that the Italians will understand you, but they'll want you to sing venti. Okay. Um, um, your ornamentation was absolutely stunning. I loved it. That's great. So what she did, and in Handel, you're allowed to do this, everybody. When you come back around to the A section again, we lovingly call dropping a bomb on the on the on the vocal line. You really just get to obliterate it. You can go the opposite directions. You can you can change the sequences. Handel and late Italian rep only. Okay. Okay. And that includes Vivaldi. Before that, not so much. You'll have the early music police on your tail. Um, but, but Luce, this was absolutely stunning. Um, the big thing I think you need to concentrate on, tell, tell, inform everybody, just so we all are on the same page, inform everybody what's happening right here. Well, uh, the, um, the wife of Rinaldo is um, kidnapping for, for the, for the, the bad one in the, in the story. Yes. Argante is a, more or less as a, as a wizard or as, or as a witch, Muslim mm -hmm. witch, and Armida is a witch who kidnapped the, the wife of Rinaldo. And Rinaldo decided to, to go to rescue her. Right. And he's talking with, with Goths for, for having the, the strange, the, the note, the strange for, for do it. For exactly. Doing it. And no matter if are there winds or are there something, he, he decided to, to come to, to save her, to save Almirena. Right, and so that's what this whole aria is about. Okay, so you have these long portions in the front and at the end called the Ritornelli, that you have got to do something as an actress or actor in this, in this position um, that eats up that time and builds your character in. There's not, mm, last time I did this, I really remember that in the Ritonello they had me moving a bunch, but when you start singing because it is so bloody fast, you probably won't have to move much at all. But we need to see that when you're performing this in some sort of a, a, a competition and or concert. We need to see your internal dialogue saying, I am going to 
gather my courage and ask the gods for help so that I can go rescue her. I need yes. to see it in your face. Go so ahead, Judy. May, may I add, so Luz, I think this is an excellent aria for you, range and everything. However, I feel that you are over darkening your sound. You already have a very rich, lovely mezzo voice. Now you are Mexican. How do you say ah in Mexican, the ah vowel? How do you say that? Ah. 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 So it's the same in the Italian. And when you sing this, you're making it ah, ah, and you're pressing your tongue. Does that make you tired sometimes? Yes, 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 yes sometimes. 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 It will be easier for you Although you sang the melismas very well, it will be easier for you if you brighten them and let the soft palate do the work, like ah, 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 ah instead of oh, don't drop your jaw so much, lift here, ah, 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 ah. and that's the correct ah vowel, yeah? Okay. Yeah. You don't have to make your voice darker to sound like a mezzo. You sound like a mezzo. You sound like a mezzo, yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, I mean, there's a, here's a, I have a chopstick. Yay. Um, one of the things that I, that Judy worked out on me, because I studied with her for 20 some years, Oy. that when, when you, when you sing melismas that go horizontally, it's wider in your palate and mouth. Okay. When okay. you sing them vertically, it's more up and down this way. Okay. Okay. And when you do them that are all mixtures of it, it's this. <laughs> so <laughs> yes. You have to learn how to get it going. But if you can think about that, it, it's wider here until you go. Would you, would you like to try just the beginning with a brighter ah vowel? Okay. Yes, sure. I don't know how much more time we have because we'll get the, the powers that be will cut us off, but let's try a little bit of that, okay? Ah, 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 uh huh. So try it. Ah, 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 ah. Excuse me, I rest my case. Yeah. Two minutes? Is yeah, it two minute, minute warning? Yeah, okay. I rest my case. You know what that means, Luz? That means that was fabulous. Oh, so no don't fabulous. over darken your aval. Did it feel easier to you to do it like that? Did yes, it feel it's easier uh, and it's uh, softer and and, and it's, it's softer not from... softer to you. It's not softer to us. It's not softer to the audience. It's it it's more efficient. So yes, um, unfortunately, Mark, you might want to add, but we, we have to stop right now. Do you have any questions about what we're telling you? You're making it too heavy and you need to, because especially when you go want to accomplish something like vengeance or saving somebody, you want it to be wah as opposed to wah, okay? Okay. <laughs> How's that for English? Right there. <laughs> okay. Um, Mark, did you want to add anything before? No, I, I'm just very impressed. Um, um, yeah, I would also love to hear you sing other things that have lots of melism and melismas like Rossini and uh, Vivaldi. His melismas are also machine gun melismas and they're just stupid. They're machine so gun, explain that to poor Luz. You know, the, the machine gun melismas mean the notes go <laughs> all the way across the, the line. That's... Don't sing like that. No, don't sing like that. <laughs> <laughs> but wonderful, I'm very impressed. Very good, very good Luz, excellent, excellent. Who so we have... You're welcome. Who do we have now? With okay, Jessica. I think up next we have Jessica. Hi, okay. I'm, I'm Jessica. Jessica. Hello. What would you like to sing and could you tell us what year you're in school? Yeah, so I'm actually not in school currently. I'm 27. I graduated with my master's in 2019. Um, oh. Yes, and I would like to sing Ich bin euer Liebten from Der Rosenkavalier. Okay. You're brave. This is my girl. pianist, Russell Reagan. On Hi, the, Russell. the backing track. <laughs> Thank you. 
ich bin. Euer Leben ist sehr verbunden. Ich bin euer Leben in alle Ewigkeit verbunden. Deinen Schorgen beruht in Rosen, wie Leben Very nice, very nice. Mark, I'm gonna I'm gonna start this one, okay? Yeah, um, this ain't my rep. <laughs> <laughs> now you're coming into my rep, okay. <laughs> so Jessica, beautiful. Before we talk about this one, tell me what else you sing. What what other rep do you have? Yeah, so I also sing Marie from uh, La Fille du Regiment. Um, I, I actually sing all of her arias. I sing a lot of Mozart to Serbina. 
Pamina, all the Ina Anas pretty much. Um, and I just started doing some more handle actually. Um, so I started with Morgana um, and learning her for Rami and Luci di Questanima a lot. And then so some other Strauss like Brentano leader. I know it's not Arias, but, but a oh, lot of Strauss okay. sonnets at the Mozart. Okay, very yeah. good. Where did you go to school? Where did you graduate from? Uh, from I got my undergrad from Florida State and my master's from University of Connecticut. Okay, great. So you have a very beautiful voice and it's it shows that your top is where you shine. You absolutely bloom at the top and it's absolutely exquisite. Thank you. The difficulty in Strauss is the line. It is mm -hmm. it's unending. Yes. And you're getting, you've got all the notes and everything, but it starts on a low C. That's not easy. So one thing that might make that low C easier for you is when she goes to um, to speak to Octavian, she is she's very um, young and un inexperienced, and so it's like she can hard she she cuts off ich bin, you know, and the next line, you can almost. You can't really whisper it because people have to hear you. But if you gather, if you don't go like this, if you go, ich bin, you know, like, I'm so happy to see you, but I'm terrified. Okay. And uh, did you, have you staged it to this with somebody already? Um, I, I did it myself. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm not sure that you want to smell the rose. I think it's silver. I'm not sure it smells. Okay. It doesn't okay. have a fragrance. It's a silver rose. Oh, now maybe they painted silver on the red, but I think it's real silver. So if you go to to smell the rose, you'll probably poke your nose or something, you know, okay, because it's real okay. silver. All right, but that's just in the side. Otherwise, I love the bowie and everything. But everything you do is shy. And you look at him and you love, you are enamored of him. You love him. And you can't take your eyes off him, but you can hardly speak. So would you just try the beginning, Ich bin, just the very beginning. Yes. And don't don't spread. It'll get you a little more core of sound there. You can't do a piano because it's too low. Okay. Okay, just the beginning. Um, do you want it with the backing track or sure. Okay. Yeah. Just the first few lines. Okay. All right, don't try and chest that. If you if you add chest to that, we'll never hear you. That's a fallacy for people of uh, tenors and sopranos. Chest doesn't add size, it adds warmth. But what carries is the overtone. So you want to do that over your tongue. Ich bin here to your teeth. Ich bin. Bingo. Aha. Oh, I even felt more. Yeah. Yeah. And you would think if you add the chest that it would be bigger, not for us, not for the higher voices. Mark, you can add now, but I'll I'll go on and help you with the rest of it. Mark, what do you want to add? Um, I was just going to say an easy trick to help you find your coordination in your body for finding these crazy Straussian lines mm -hmm. is to do it on, on some sort of uh, semi-occluded vocal track exercise, which is somebody got a doctorate for that title. Um, um, it literally just means use the straw or use a buzz. Um, I like for me personally use the v sound and then you sing it that whole way and, and by just using v or v or a straw, you're gonna, your body's going to coordinate on its own as long as your technique is good and you'll see how much air you have to apportion out to get these full long lines going. And okay. usually you'll find out that you actually don't need as much air as you thought you did. And when you don't over breathe and only use the amount of air that you really need, you actually get more sound and it's easier to sing. But so for, me, let, yeah, for me personally, it just means that I have to give up control. And that's mm -hmm. always an issue for me is letting go. I'm, yeah, I, I feel so, that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we, you, it, you know, that most of us, because we can't hear our voices, that is like, it's like a cruel trick they gave us. Mm -hmm. We can sing, but we can't hear it, touch it, or, or see it. So, oh, gee, thank you, you know. So, try that again, and if you see you gathered and you thought over your tongue, 
And then I'll give you another trick for getting up to those high notes, like a taffy pulling. Is that two minute warning? I see. I, yeah. Okay. Then let's go quickly. Just try the beginning and then let's go to one of the high, high, okay. high note to a high note. I'll do it without the track just for sure. sure. That's fine. Ich bin and that lined everything up now go to go to the high notes this is great i wish we had like hours but it's okay okay so now when you go dum bum 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 i want you to set up the high note ah that's a straussian technique which is hard for young people especially if you sing a lot of mozart you can't do that okay Okay. So let's try that. But really, really set it up. It'll seem really piggy to you, but I promise you it'll be be perfect. It'll, <laughs> it'll feel like a big old scoop, but let it happen. Oh, like... Sweetheart, that is stunningly beautiful. Thank what you. That, that... What that does, so you know what's happening, what that does, when you once you're on that first high note and then you do the little tiny scoop into the second high note, it gives you more palette space because your palette space your palette space goes, Oh my god, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. And so you're setting it up like a springboard, right? Mm -hmm. And that's Straussian technique. That's a baby beginning of all of our brilliant knowledge. We can't <laughs> give you everything, but that changes the whole aria for you because you have a gorgeous, gorgeous top. So show it off. But you can't do that in Mozart. So don't do that when you go back to Mozart. Okay. Mara, this is Strauss. Yes. Thank Very you. excellent. That was excellent. Yay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Jessica. That was amazing. Um, I have, Skylar, you're next. Hi there. Well, hi, Skylar. I think I know you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My goodness, Skylar, it's a long time. How are you doing? You're at Oberlin? I uh, actually took the year off um, just to because of the pandemic. It didn't seem worth 80k to, to go to school online. So I've just been working um, with my teacher and we've been uh, working on my private study. Well, it's good to see you, Skylar. It's lovely to see you guys. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What would you like to sing? I would like to sing Ich liebe dich by Greek. Okay.
Wow, you are all grown up. That is not the what however old you were the first time you came in. You have really grown up. Good for you. That was beautiful. Mark, I have lots to say, but you could start if you'd like. No, go ahead. I'll jump in. Okay. Skylar, it is crystal clear that you know what you're singing. You have all this passion with which you're singing. And your diction is excellent. But you need to what I call smush more. <laughs> That's a I was going to say the exactly same thing. <laughs> you it need needs to be a little piggish. <laughs> yeah, we need to have you not hold your air anywhere through these lines. And so, and you got it towards the end where you you, you set it up and you pour tomato down. That's what you need in this piece. So basically, because he gave you the accompaniment that went clung, 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 clung. He doesn't give you much help. By the way, Schubert does that and everyone. You have to do the line over that. So we've got, uh, it, you're singing. It's gorgeous. Your voice is richer. It's more grown up. It's just healthy. It's all good things. But you need to, now that you're grown up, <laughs> Get to add line. So instead of da, and I don't know the German words, but da, I don't know the, the Norwegian words either, but da, di, da, di, da, da. You don't want to do that. You want da, di, da, di, da, 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 on your air. Mark, do you want to add to that? Yeah. So, sweetheart, let's let's do something. Just uh, find the, the first pitch, wherever the first pitch is, and <laughs> sing it on just an uval. And I want you to connect every single note with some sort of, dare I say it, portamento, so sure. that you don't ever come off your voice. Okay, try it, just the first phrase. Just don't count with your voice. Yeah. Okay, smush the line, we'll get the beats. Okay. Yeah, so Skylar, that's your close line of legato, okay? Your consonants are the clothespins on the top of that. It never cuts the line. It just attaches to it. So okay. I need to hear that core of line all the way through that legato. So I forgot what the German was. I forgot the first words. Du mein Gedanke. Okay. Du mein Gedanke. So you notice how you never, ever, ever stop that? Try singing it that way and see if you can actually make it feel like you just sang the ooh. So Tom Hampson says he rides the column of air. So you're, you have to use your consonants, vibrate through them as opposed to, you know, German and English, we're very clipped in our language, mm -hmm. but you can like, you can sing through a lot of those consonants. Yes, it's, I agree. Okay, I so agree. Tr try that again. Do mine and German, you can hold a consonant for the rest of your life, okay? So, yeah, those are the ones you can really sing. And go of Gedanken, go and do of Gedanken, they have pitch, so you can actually vibrate through it. Mein Gedanken, and you can just literally go to town on it, waller in it like it's a chocolate bath. If you have to, if you could take your time now. I mean, eventually you can do it up to tempo, but now just try, you can do it more slowly so you can try it. Take a good breath, Skyler. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. All right. So here's the other thing, honey. You're chewing your vowels a little teeny 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 bit not a lot but so you want to do it like you do italian do mine good blah 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 don't go back and forth on the vowel that'll help okay you want to hold yeah you can yeah. hold hold but uh, yeah and just and so that's going to let you know when you start to chew things all right it's not a piece of meat it's just a piece of music <laughs> Oh, this is murder. Do you know what I tell my students all the time? The yeah. difference between an amateur and a professional is the first note. Yeah. If you have to vibrate the first note, the professionals, boom, they're vibrating right away. You're not vibrating till maybe the second note. Okay? okay. So try, make sure the ooh vibrates. Sure. And where does that vibration start? 
Where's the vibration start? On your inhale. You're already on my inhale. vibrate. Vibrate on your in. So you think vibrate as you inhale, and you'll vibrate when you sing. Okay. okay. That's a little confusing, Mark, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. to go zelishkeit and use the z to vibrate through the zelishkeit. It's so much fun, Skylar. When you sing it out. <laughs> oh my God! And speaking as someone who sang a lot of early music, when I finally get to do something like this, I feel like I'm having ice cream. It's the best, <laughs> honey. That's great. You're old enough to do this now. Look at that. You got old before our very eyes. <laughs> yeah, no, not really. Do it again. I'm still 18. That's that, that's bigger, better than you know. I, it was a joke, Scott. Okay. <laughs> do it again. What happened to that note? It became, even though this is not the bel canto period, it became like a bel canto note. You didn't go da da da, but you went, you caressed it. Zelishkeit. And so that gives colors, wonderful colors to everything. That is fabulous. How do you feel when you do that? It, it definitely feels less placed and more elegant. That's it. You'll never have to go back yes. to school again. You're good enough, ready? <laughs> yes. So the other thing I want to add is why, and this is one of my bad habits as well. I call it singer acting. To emphasize ourselves, we conduct with our hands going together in the front. Okay. There are many more gestures that are in your, if you need to use a gesture to accentuate something that you want to really point out in your music, you get one two-handed gesture a song. One two-handed gesture. Okay. That's, that, that's what my acting teacher told me. One two-handed gesture. That really is rough. Mm -hmm. For me, sometimes I literally have to put my hands in my pants in my pockets <laughs> because I, I, I will do this until, you know, the cows come home. But <laughs> use it as an exercise and see if you can find other ways to do this. Um, the easiest way to do that is to speak the text in front of a mirror and watch yourself. If you don't like doing that, you have a phone. Record it and watch yourself you should like doing that so <laughs> skylar it is it does my heart really good to see how how you're developing and how far you've come and you're doing great and just keep doing what you're doing it's fabulous but this is a little more grown-up technique that we're teaching you now and you're ready to do it your voice sounds fabulous compliments as always to your teacher okay yeah. Bravo. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. It's so lovely to see you again. Nice to see you Thank too. Thank you, Skylar. That was lovely. Okay. Oh, we have another. Story. There is Aventika. Hello. Okay, wait a minute. Where is Aventika? Where? Oh, there you are. I see you. Okay, gotcha. Okay, let me put you on speaker. Okay. What are you? What would you like to sing? So I will be singing Sean, Do Not Go. Uh, it's written by Richard Cummings and it's from The Picnic, which is, I don't know, it's my first English um, song, so. And, and where are you in your life? Where are you in school? Are you? Uh, yeah, I'm in high school right now. I'm a sophomore or uh, I, I don't know, have my last week of school coming up, so maybe so not you're so a much. Rising a rising junior. junior. <laughs> I had to learn that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. Well, great. Yeah, I'll start. Oh, do not go.
you, you're, you, yeah, we didn't get that line. You, it was a beautiful beginning. We'll wait for you to finish. We can't hear you right now. Did my internet freeze up there? Yeah, you just know. lagged. You lagged. So try again. Okay. Try right where, right from where you, the accompaniment cut off. Try there again. See if you can. Okay. That little interlude. person that was beautiful absolutely beautiful mark do you want to start um i'm lucky that i got to actually hear her sing this yesterday and i i'm absolutely number mm -hmm. one this piece is not performed that often unfortunately because i think it's a great great little show um and you sing it very very well um obviously i got to get to hear the the prepared video so there wasn't an issue with your internet um what struck me was your depth of character analysis in this. Your technique is, is stunning. Uh, your teacher and you are to be congratulated because I think that you're really in a great spot. Um, and and there's so much ahead of you. I'm just so excited for you. But what got me was your use of color and your use of character and how you you got her not completely she's happy but she's not happy she you know she goes in and out in and out in and out all the way through this thing and i got it i and i and it just it really touched me yesterday when i heard you sing this because i thought it was so beautiful the color of your voice also is something that i i find absolutely stunning and i'm sure judy will say I more about this um I, i'm just blown away by your technique and your level and i think that you need to keep doing everything that you can um, Rebecca, the, the opera is called The Picnic. I believe it's a one act. I don't believe, I think it's a couple of scenes. Um, um, but this is an absolutely stunning piece and a great voice and perfect for you. And you said this is your first English piece? Yeah, I, I don't know if it, it would, it's considered like a opera or anything, but yeah, it's my first song mostly. Yeah, it's, a, it's, yeah. a, it's a big scene. So yes. yeah, yeah, um, but yeah, it is it is my first song in English, and obviously that's my you know main language. So you know that that was good, but you know I had to be make sure I was actually um, you know saying saying the words so people could hear them because I knew them. Correct. But yeah, correct, very important diction, diction, diction. Sweetheart, where where do you come from? Where are you living? Um, I am in San Francisco. So. Okay. I want you to look up, and anyone, by the way, who's watching us today that's in high school, this is a high school competition. It's the Schmidt 
I, I did that this year. Um, yeah, I was a finalist and it was my I'm first time. I'm not surprised because I judge for them every year. Of course, we, we also, we also, uh, ha, um, uh, what do you call it? We, you know, they come and do it out of our school because what they do on top of everything is if you, if whoever, uh, you know, with wherever you do the competition, if you, if you go to that school after they give you extra scholarships, so please keep doing it. You're very talented. That's an aside. So this is your first English con. And that's what I tell my students. My favorite thing is consonants are your friends. So don't be afraid, especially in English, to spit them out. If we see spit spraying out all over, you're perfect, okay? And so it, what that does is it sends the vowel to the right place. Um, and so you want to do that. You want to, so uh, Sean, what's the first line? Sean, do not go. To you, I will not lie. Sean, do not go. To you, I will not lie. And so you really want to use that. It sends the vowel out. So the vowel, because what's happening, do you do music theater sometimes too, Avantika? Uh, yeah, I've done a couple of um, uh, yeah, musicals. In musical theater, you kind of sing a straight tone and then you vibrate. You can't do that in classical music. You have to vibrate right away. So use that consonant to spit out the first line. Mark, I'll let you go on after this, but would you try that first line for us? Really considering letting letting your your consonants carry your air right into the vowel. Okay. Oh, you couldn't do overdo. You just couldn't. And if you do, I'll tell you. Okay. Sean, do not go. There are two consonants which you'd rather kill yourself than sing, which is an R and an L. Okay, so one of the ways to so you you did at what everybody does, which is oh lie. You don't even know you're doing it because in English that's how we say that, right? Yeah. So what you want to do is flip it like the like the Italian. Do not lie, 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 as opposed to no. oh lie, <laughs> and that'll <laughs> let the lie come out more easily. You want to try that? Sure. So uh, is my tongue, like, how do I? Well, just yeah, take, just the, it. take the tip of your tongue and put it on your upper back of the back of your upper teeth and go and then flatten it against your hard palate and go lie. Lie, 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 yeah, lie. Yep. It takes some getting used to because it feels totally weird because we're not used to doing it that way. Yeah, definitely. Sean, do not go. Tell I will not lie. Yeah, you're still taking too much time. Whenever, whenever you have an L or an R, get off of it as quickly as humanly That's possible. Da, 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 da. Whatever it is. Da, da, la, lie, lie. Flip it. Lie. Lie. And go right to the ah of lie. 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 Bingo. That's it. So don't take time on the L only because it's going to, you know, tire you out. Okay. okay. How does it feel so far? Um, yeah, I think that was an immediate difference. It, it felt like it was less uh, pressure and it was easier to sing that. Yes. Yeah. Because I think I was just like, oh, that, I, I can't sing that. That's too hard. And then just. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what happens with, when, you, when, when you grab to make those English sounds like we say them here in America, you're thickening the middle of your tongue. And that's what you don't want to do. Because that makes it all, it backs it all up and the air can't move. Yeah. So unfortunately, we're, we're, we're having the warning again, but Avantika, you are incredibly talented, honey. You keep doing what you're doing and whoever's teaching you is doing a great job, but you have to great vibrate job. everything. So here's the other thing for all of you. We can't hear our voices. It is a fool's paradise to think if you put it just a little bit back here, it's going to sound better out there. Uh, not. So try to not listen. The 11th commandment in my studio is ugliness is next to godliness. The uglier it sounds, the better it is. <laughs> so thank you for singing today. Of course.
Does anyone okay. have questions for us? Yes, we we're happy to away. take questions. No questions, everybody. Yes, Jessica. Um, I was wondering if either of you do lessons or coachings um, privately or using Zoom, if that's possible. Both yes. of us, and right now we're still on Zoom because the school wasn't open and my private lessons I do at Mark's church, which the church isn't open. So yep. we're, yep. we definitely are And Mark. Uh, you're, you're doing zoom lessons. Still doing well. zoom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is, uh, is there a best way to contact you or our you emails are on the website? I believe. Yeah. It, okay. so please. Anytime. Great. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? Well, I thoroughly enjoyed today. What talalented people. Was, oh my gosh, yes. Just inspiring. Very inspiring. We're going to go practice. <laughs> and it makes us, you know, we try and always be encouraging cuz you know, upsetting people doesn't help them. So, thank you for letting us play with you as I always say cuz that's what we're doing. And um and we, you know, we're happy we're happy to do it. And any time you don't have any more time for a question. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Go ahead. Um, who, who is questioning? Uh, I'm sorry. There I am. Um, I, hi. <laughs> so I've been singing for a really, really long time. Um, and I, I have an operatic voice. Um, I just wanted to, I just, just wanted to talk about more about the soft palate and how that helps with the sound. Like, are you a soprano or are you med? Yes, I am a high soprano and I have a coloratura voice. Okay. So, so I, I just wanted to know your advice about I that. Don't talk about raising the soft palate. They used right. to teach us to raise the soft palate. And what that does is adds tension in another way. But if you open here, right here, and keep this up as a soprano, keep it open. Mm -hmm. Your soft palate does raise when you do that, but it isn't like you're trying to keep that dome inside. And, and we were taught that in, in our day, you know, so now it's a little bit different and breathe to cool air to the back of your throat that opens up your throat. Mm -hmm. So that's how I do it, Mark. Yeah, I agree. The one of the tricks, actually, Judy, that you taught me was when I breathe through my, my uh, mouth, I know my soft palate's up because I can feel the cold air back there. I can feel that lift as I breathe in and all of a sudden I feel the cold air back on the, 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 my part of my soft palate and that's how I know it's there. The other trick for me, because I tend to be, I never do things just kind of, I go way too far and have to be. She was never, never knew that part. <laughs> I actually, if, if I have a really hard show that I'm in, I actually use a tiny drop of lavender oil right underneath my nose. And if I can smell lavender, my palate's up. Because that's how you actually smell. Your palate lifts and all that goes around in the olfactory thingy. You may want to try peppermint because lavender is what puts us to sleep. So well, I'm not sure. You no, know, Judy, I'm always like, I have so much adrenaline. I need to calm that's it That's true. Down. You probably do. <laughs> so, okay. So if I can smell, then my palate is yes. lift or lifted. Yes. A long, long time ago, back in the dark ages of the early 80s, the first person who told me that was Virginia Zayani, who's a very famous soprano. In a master class with her, she go, Marco, smell the roses. Smell the roses. <laughs> so I learned that if I could smell, then my palate was lifted. And it goes right back to what Judy just said. You breathe in and you feel it go right in through here and your palate lifts on its own. That's okay. a good question. Any other questions? Thank you very much. You're so welcome. Jessica has another question. Sorry, one more. I like to ask this with anybody I, I work with in a master class. Do you have any advice for like young singers or singers making their way um, to that next professional level? Actually, basically being able to take no and keep showing up. Yes. I'm a soprano. Everyone is a soprano, okay? I managed to have a career. You just keep showing up until you find your niche and then you go for it. Don't try and turn yourself into a pretzel. Just be who you are. Keep showing up and doing the best you can. And, um, and be just persistent. Be persistent. You have to be persistent because you're there, there are so many people going for a finite amount of jobs 
and, and people are not going to hire you unless they know you. So if you go to sing for them for one time and they don't hire you right away, it doesn't mean that they're not thinking about you four years from now. So if you don't go back and ever sing for them again because you feel like, oh my God, they didn't hire me or they didn't like me, that may not be true. They just didn't have a place for you right now. So persistence helps you yeah. get there. I mean, I must say I was at a luckier time. The managers would come and hear us. That's the other thing. You have to sing anywhere you can. Get up on your feet. You never know who's going to hear you. It doesn't matter. You're not going to get paid right now. You're going to spend more than you get paid, unfortunately. But when I was coming up, um, the managers would hear us and they would manage us. They don't do that anymore. They're mostly agents and they help you get contracts. But you have to already be selling yourself. So I didn't have to do that. But I you did. guys have to. Yeah. So you guys have to do that. And the manager that helped me the most was the one who said to me, because then I was a soubrette soprano. I became a spinto as life wore on. But he said to me, you're going to get a thousand no's. If you get one yes, that's gravy. And I thought he must be over exaggerating. No, he wasn't. Yeah. You know, so um, it's just you just do it and be in preparation. Jessica, you have to be prepared. Everything you do has to be perfect as perfect as a singer can be because there is no perfection but you have remember to remember that when when opportunity knocks if you've not done the preparation work then you're not going to be ready it's mm -hmm. it's okay to say okay i sing despina's arias but you also know her 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 ensembles and her recitatives if somebody says can you come tomorrow and sing despina you have to have done the prep work that means the lessons the coachings the memorization it has to be done and you have team. to know if you can sing the role. You can't just because you can sing the aria doesn't mean you can sing the role. So always sell yourself where you can. There's always something to do in the practice room is how I look at it. I'm never finished. Mm -hmm. Ever. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a rough it's a rough road and people but think it's be easy. persistent. Be persistent because the rewards are incredible. The, the 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 feeling that you get to make a difference in someone's life is just astounding um and it, it's so rewarding yeah no i i feel i definitely feel that way and i um like i always feel like i have something to say and so i know exactly. like this is what i want and i want to like make it happen um one I, of the judy things and I, judy and i both believe that it's more than a career it's a calling mm-hmm yeah, I tried to uncall it a few times, but they kept dialing my number. So <laughs> it's, rough. it's it's quite something, you know. It's 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 quite a discipline and and it's a commitment like nothing else. So you know, you are a physical instrument. So everything you do during the day, you know, it it goes to your voice. When I finally stopped singing, people said, "Did I miss it?" And I went. No, me not so much. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I was ready to stop singing, and I love teaching. So, um, it you know that discipline for a very long period of time was it. It's hard. It's very hard. Mm -hmm. But um, if it's something you love, you don't let don't listen to voices. Just keep your eye on the prize. I like that. Thank you. Thank you both very very much. You're so welcome. Yeah. Anything else? Any other questions? Well, you can always email us and ask any questions. And thank you for showing up today. We It was delightful. So much I can, talent. I can actually put our emails, Judy, in the... Sure, go right ahead, Mark. That's a great idea. Oops, I could spell. How do we spell our schools? in R-O-O-S-E, that's right. <laughs> Mark Spell. You got mine right. <laughs> there. Okay. Okay. So that's how to get a hold of us. Okay. Good luck to all of you. And Wonderful. thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mark and Judy. Thank you, everyone who's saying continue to go to the classes and we'll hopefully see you, right. see you around. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. Bye. What an honor. Bye, have a great day. Thank you.